driving this bando back to California because I really want it there. Ah! Whoa, you put so much force on you bent the steering wheel. Welcome to Rotorite. Right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Road Riot. I'm Peter FPV. I'm Wes Flair C. And I'm Bubby FPV. And today I have another project for you guys, some really cool stuff. My friend Josh over at Medlin Drones sent me some really cool parts. He custom designed a head tracking module for my tank frame and for our Vision 40 frame. Both of these frames are available at roadright.com. Before you go more into it, what is head tracking? Okay, so head tracking is a really cool technology where we can actually put a adapter here on our goggles. This is a little mechanism that is going to transmit okay. the angle that your head is tilting back to the drone, and then the drone is actually going to tilt the camera okay. to match your head's movements. So it sort of, sort of has like maybe like a, like a gyro? Yeah, it's got a built-in gyro. This was actually given to me by fpvdogfight.com. This is their Tally Ho head tracking adapter, and it's really cool. Thank you guys for providing this to me. It made it a lot easier for me to get this project taken care of. And I actually took it a step further. I took it apart, I installed a wireless device in my radio, and I've got this little switch here to turn it on. And I don't have to actually use a cable between the radio and the goggles, because oh, the way it actually amazing. works is the goggles send the information to the radio, and then the radio retransmits that information to the drone. Oh, that's it's huge. wild, it's crazy, Wait, but it's what? all wireless. Both of these are head tracking drones, and we will have to have full control over these drones and over our movement. Over you're, you're, you're telling me this has a gimbal. Where, I don't even see a servo. <laughs> where is yeah, this? It's, it's so, so small, where is it? It's actually really cool. The way that he did this uh, is the servo is actually where the camera is mounted to. So the, oh. the servo oh, actually geez, moves there. itself, oh, and the arm of the servo is attached to the drone. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, it's that's really, really cool. cool. So the whole servo turns with the camera attached to it. It's really neat. Really yeah, cool I think process. this is the smallest platform I've seen like a gimbal on. Like, I know, yeah, and it's like super light. You'd think it would be heavy, but feel that. Man, it's yeah. nothing. I mean, I could just like such a great idea. It stays up, blow it and stays up. I mean, this is cool. So what is this a zip tie so it's durable? Ooh. Yeah, the zip tie is going to protect our camera from crashing. This is a really great idea that Josh had. <laughs> and the other one's really cool because Josh uh, made, custom made this for my tank frame so that it would bolt right up to my mounts on the front. Nice. And I'm actually carrying a DJI 03 camera on here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we're here in a Detroit Bando and this is actually an abandoned automobile facility. And if we just look around, we have a bunch of like vertical obstacles. We have a bunch of railing, a bunch of wires hanging. So usually when we fly, you have to fly the drone up and then, then you're able to see your, your obstacles. But this one, I could be cruising on the ground. Then, oh, I'm gonna go up there. So we know this one is the servo moves, but what about this one? I see a bunch of gears. In oh there. yeah, this I've is wild it. the way he did this. It's so crazy. He's got all this gearing and like a belt uh, to That's move the camera wow. around. And it's super durable, he says. I haven't actually crashed this hard enough to make this happen, but he says rather than damaging the servo on this, yeah. it'll actually just skip a gear, skip a tooth. So all you gotta do is like just pull oh, it back to where it was. Oh, okay. And Sweet. one of the most least durable things on these gimbal drones in the past has always been the servo. That's yeah. the first thing to break. Yeah. So the way that he did that is he just fixed it with this gearing. It's so genius. Right. I can't wait to see how it works. I'm excited about it. So the footage you guys will see on the little drone will be nice quality HD. We're rocking the walk snail avatar system. Mm -hmm. um, but, and then this, the footage you'll be seeing is directly off the O3 and that's just up to like 4K 120, yeah, which, is, yeah. which is super nice. So, I mean, I'm excited to just test it out and see what we can do here. All right, let's take this thing up and see what we can do with it. Thank you. you I'm now. excited to try You're this. You're welcome. <laughs> Punching. You're good to go. Alright, so I'm just gonna fly slow and try to get like... Okay, so... Oh, this is weird. Is, <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it disorienting? Right? Very yeah, disorienting. Okay, why, why, do you think it, why do you think it's so disorienting? Because I'm used to having a fixed angle, so like usually to go up, I just look where I'm going and then fly up. But this time I'm looking up. Then going up. Also, it's just such a high camera angle now that I'm operating with. Yeah, like whenever I fly a different camera angle in the simulator, for example, I have to retrain my stick movements on my hands because it's almost like yaw and roll interactively with the drone. Right? Yeah, and it's sure. very interesting being able to change your angle while you fly. It's just like that's All right. the part that's so, important. Yeah, you have to so, kind of. So there's this ladder dive. I'm gonna try to fly up it. Oh, let's oh see. boy, here we go. Oh. <laughs> that's like the ladder diving. Hold on. Right. I need a, like, like a mini version. I need of to be able to bando, tilt. My, can someone hold the goggles on my head? I need okay. to be able to tilt farther back. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh, okay. I don't think you have to go that high. Uh, I didn't. Uh, okay. I'll let go. Let go. It's impossible. It's hard. <laughs> it's really difficult. I need more practice. But it is a cool thought. What about this one right here? So right behind us. So there's one right behind us. It's still vertical though. Yeah. I'm gonna vertical. try to go up and then look down and fly. Okay. So let's see. I'm gonna fly over here. Now I'm gonna look down. 
This is cool. <laughs> Fly through this gap. It's weird because I've never flown with a negative camera angle and like you know once you go past 45 up tilt like yaw and roll change. Yes. But once you go down 45, it's I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's not it's it's kinda like you're flying a Mavic that's just kinda parked in place, right? Yeah. Almost. A little bit. Alright, so let's see. Now I'm gonna race. I'm gonna tilt up more. We'll start hauling. Oh, no. oh you're going fast! He's zooming! He's Alex Vanover! Oh, Watch yeah. out! Oh, lost video, lost video. Oh, almost landed in the water puddle, but you didn't, so we're good. Yeah, so I mean, this thing is really cool, because like, the ability to be flying super slow, even looking down, see, in this whole flight, I was able to look down. Mm -hmm. And almost stop, right? Stop, and fly backwards, back to it, <laughs> right? fly forward, and then I was just like, let's go 60 degrees, and then I'm like, I'm Alex Vanover, yeah, <laughs> dear old <laughs> champion. And then I took the goggles off and went back to reality, and I'm just bubby. <laughs> so it's really cool, like, give me a cool car to chase, and this head tracker drone, maybe a five inch or something, and like mm -hmm. a nice camera, and it, you could get some really awesome angles because you know you have like the dynamicness that FPV drones have, but then like you can get like an inspire shot where you're just looking right down yeah. above it. Well, we did bring a five inch. We oh, actually brought what? my almost indestructible frame, the tank. I hope the gimbal is as it. <laughs> yes. Well, according to Josh Medlin, the gimbal is pretty darn strong. By the way, okay. you can pick up these things up at medlindrones.com or fpvdogfight.com right. if you need to buy the head tracking attachment. Be sure to hit those guys up for these parts if you want to try this on your own. But let's go try out the tank, which should be virtually indestructible, but we are in Detroit, so we all yeah. know how that goes. Why are you talking it's about tank it? time. It's tank 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 time. For sure. I mean, I'm really excited to let Peter try it because okay. I want to see if you can perch something. Because you know, you, you're already good at perching, but just your camera angle a little bit up, you know, you can't really see down. But that's don't be losing my drone now, Peter. I'll be able to look down. Well, I got to make sure so I perch something that we can recover easy from. But I don't know if we can from this room. So that's fine. We know you're good at crashing drones. Yeah, I really oh. like this one a lot now. So you know, if you, I would be really hurt if you lose my drone. Oh. Here we go. Air mode's on. Tank time. Tank time, guys. Let's do it. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep my... Oh, there's some birds in front of you. <laughs> oh, I see them. Oh, my goodness. All right, so right now, this feels like my normal angle I'm flying, but if I, like, raise it up... Careful. Oh. <laughs> I did that and slammed into the ground by accident yeah, that was, the first that's, time I tried. That's exactly what I was uh, focusing on. I was focusing on the floor. That way, I don't slam into the ground. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's go try to orbit this tower. All right, so look down. Oh, that's so. Oh, oh well, my you goodness. Look way down now, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's let's orbit this tower. Does it make a difference what angle you orbit at? I mean, if you have your head normal, then you're just flying at your regular well, I guess, angle. Yeah. I guess if I orbit, if I lift my head higher, it does throw the orbit off a little, so it gives I have to give it a little bit more throttle. Oh, but actually, I feel like I can orbit better. Yeah, it's making it go faster, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's Bubby. Do a little. All right, so he said, reach out. Oh, that's so sick. <laughs> that's so sick. What are you doing? All right, so these guys want me to find something to perch. Yeah, let's see if you can perch on something and so, see if it's any different with this setup. I'm sure it's going to be a lot different. Okay, so they want me to use the head tracker with this one. Because <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was so scared and nervous that I wasn't using, so they want me to look down. But when I yeah, start looking down, I start flying backwards. You are flying backwards, that's hilarious. Oh my goodness, okay guys. So let's go front now. Let's ease up on it. Let's ease up on it. Just think Mavic. Let's ease up on it. <laughs> think Mavic, you got uh, this. Uh, we're like a Mavic right now, okay. So ease up, ease up. Uh, and that's like not a flat surface, so. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't even try this. Uh, <laughs> this is your thing. Uh, 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 uh. And with a different radio, different quad, it's just oh, yeah. with when the gimbal on. It's okay, you got this. Just fly better, Peter. You got this. Oh! 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 Yeah, Hi, buddy. Oh, look Hello. down, look up. Hello. You look up and down with Hello. it. Hello, yep. Hello. Oh, that's so sick. That's so sick. Woo! 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 <laughs> got it. Oh, we my knew goodness. You do that, Peter. We oh, knew you man. <laughs> look, at, look at how small this is, guys. It's not even a flat surface, it's, so it's on weird. top of like. Yeah, I wouldn't even try to freaking push that thing. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, look at that. Woo! 
<laughs> man, so that was like on the edge, man. I could, I was, I started shaking like if I was diving a building or something. Yeah, I don't know why it is. Maybe it's because, yeah, maybe it's because it's like my first time flying something with a head tracker, and I've never actually flown something higher than a 10 degrees. And when I go like this, it just throws me completely off. But man, that was a blast. That was amazing. I can't believe I perched the top of that tower. Thank you, Sean, for making it for us. Thank you, Medlin Drones, for supplying all the parts to this drone, and thank you to FPVDogfight.com for supplying us with the head tracking. Thanks, guys, so much for watching this episode of Rudder. If you guys want to see more content with gimbals and head trackers and dual ops stuff, let us know in the comments down below because we won't know if you don't tell us. Um, if you like this episode, make sure to hit the subscribe button and right next to it, there's a notification bell so you guys can be pinged on your phone. Bing, bing, bing. Don't every forget time. the bell. Yep, every yeah. time we post every Monday. So I'm Bobby FPV. I'm Peter FPV. And I'm Les Flair C. And we'll see you next time on Rotorite. Woo!